Hey everyone, welcome to eConcepts. Today we're diving into a crucial concept in electrical engineering, power factor. This video will explain what power factor is, why it matters, and how it affects electrical systems. Let's get started. Power factor is a measure of how effectively electrical power is being used in a system. It is the ratio of real power to apparent power. Real power is the power that actually does useful work, like lighting a bulb or running a motor. It's measured in kilowatts, KW. While apparent power is the total power supplied to the system, it is measured in kilovolt amperes, KVA. Now let's calculate power factor. Mathematically, power factor is expressed as mentioned in the below equation. A power factor of 1 or 100% means all the power is being used effectively, while a power factor less than 1 indicates inefficiencies in the system. To understand further, let's solve a simple numerical. We have a machine shop that uses 100 kilowatts of real power, and the apparent power meter reads 125 kilovolt amperes. We know the relationship. Power factor is equal to 100 kilowatts of real power divided by 5 kilovolt amperes of apparent power. So the power factor is 0.8 or 80%. This means that 80% of the power supplied is doing useful work and 20% is wasted. You may have question in your mind that why does power factor exist in electrical system? Actually, power factor exists in AC circuits because the voltage and current waveforms are often not in phase with each other especially when dealing with inductive or capacitive loads. In inductive loads like motors, current lags voltage because energy is stored in the magnetic field, delaying the current flow. It causes the current to lag behind the voltage by 90 degrees, thus resulting some of the power being wasted. Power factor is always less than one in inductive loads. While on the other hand, in capacitive loads like capacitors, Current leads voltage because energy is stored in the electric field, causing current to respond faster. It causes the current to lead the voltage by 90 degrees. The very same ways power is wasted here and power factor value is less than one. This phenomenon of current and voltage waveforms not being in phase leads to a difference in the amount of power used versus the apparent power delivered. I hope you got the idea. There is another type of load too, called resistive load. Resistive loads convert electrical energy entirely into heat, making them simple and efficient for applications like heating and lighting. In a purely resistive circuit, the voltage and current waveforms are perfectly in sync, meaning they peak and trough at the same time. So the power factor is always equal to one in pure resistive loads, while it is less than one in inductive and capacitive loads. Now the question is why power factor is important. Let's find out some reason. When it comes to energy efficiency, a low power factor means more current is needed to deliver the same amount of real power, leading to energy losses. If we take equipment performance into account, a low power factor can cause overheating and reduce the lifespan of electrical equipment. And when it comes to cost savings, utilities often charge penalties for low power factor. So improving it can reduce electricity bills. Next, we have grid stability. A high power factor ensures better utilization of the electrical grid, reducing the risk of blackouts and voltage drops. Next, I will shortly discuss the techniques to improve power factor, resulting increased efficiency and cost savings. The first way is to use power factor correction capacitors. Capacitors are added to the system to counteract the lagging power factor. Next comes synchronous condensers. These are rotating machines that provide reactive power to improve power factor. At number three comes the active power factor correction PFC. Used in electronic devices, PFC circuits adjust the input current to match the voltage waveform. The last we can do is proper load management. Balancing inductive and capacitive loads can help maintain a high power factor. That was all from my side for today. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you for your time. Take care.